Hey, Matt. So today we're going to continue our discussion about uh, different strategies that we use for suppression to push down negative Google search results um, for individuals particularly, and then also for businesses. And one strategy that works really well is uh, interview sites. So I know you've been using this for years. Um, maybe can you start off and just answer the question, like, what is a what is an interview site? It is a site where it'll be maybe 13 questions or so, and they ask you about your business, what made you want to get started, what's some good advice you have for other entrepreneurs. It's a uh, pretty vague um, who they let in. If you're a business owner or consulting of any kind, if you are an employee of a company, probably not a great fit for you. But if you're a doctor, a lawyer, consultant, actual business owner, perfect fit. They rank really well. Um, some of them have preset questions. Some of them have open-ended questions. You can ask yourself whatever. Uh, luckily, because it's written, you have all the time in the world to come up with a witty response. It's not on the spot, and so nothing to be nervous about. All of them will require one picture. So we've had some clients who are shy and don't want to add a picture. Not a great fit, because they do require it. Um, before the 13 questions and answers, you'll have to provide a third person bio. So the third person would be Mike Smith says this, not I say this. Right. Yeah. So these um, these interview sites, I mean, I, I'm familiar. I mean, I own one of them myself. We can just let the cat out of the bag. It's called inspire.com and it's inspirery.com. Pretty good. It's a good one. Yeah. And I launched this site, I think in 2013 or 2014. Um, because I was interested in hearing the stories that, you know, entrepreneurs or CEOs um, would share, you know, as, as to, you know, their background, how they got started, and then if they're willing to be a mentor to other people, maybe in the same uh, industry. So these other sites that sort of uh, pop up now that feature really interesting interviews they not only are they do they have clients on them who are needing some reputation management, they also have interviews from, you know, real life legit CEOs and business leaders, right? Yeah. So it's kind of a mixture. Some of them are reputation management clients. And the reputation management clients, they'll kind of keep on the back burner. They won't have them on like the face of the page for obvious reasons, which is good for the client too, because they don't want more eyes on their negative. Um, but what matters is that it shows on Google and it always does, especially sites like yours and uh, Disrupt Magazine, .com Magazine. They just have great domain authority. So when you sign up for it, it automatically ranks on page one, outranks the negative usually, and you get a bunch of them and you can push down the negatives pretty far. Yeah. And so this is the thing about, I guess, suppression is what we're, what we're talking about. Page one, key real estate. usually you know, 10 search results, although that sometimes changes because now Google's playing with this infinite scroll strategy. Yeah. The but, nowadays it's uh, the infinite scroll is just click, see more. Yeah. So it's basically a way of saying next page, in my mind. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're still kind of focused on, you know, the top 10 because that's, that's where most of the eyeballs go. Exactly. And so there's only 10 spots there. So the goal of suppression is to try to occupy as many of those 10 spots with content that uh, is controlled by the client, you know, and it can be a press release like we have talking about before, or it can be social media, it can be an interview. And it sounds like just a, an overall strategy of bringing all of these things to bear is the right way to go, huh? Yeah, more the merrier and diversity is good. If you have all interview sites. I think Google kind of says enough is enough eventually. Same with press releases. So it's good to diversify and try to hit as many different outlets as possible. Uh, building a homepage, for example, and tying that to the interviews is really good because most of the interview sites will allow you to list your homepage and that helps your homepage rank higher, the, the backlink, they call it. And the uh, so the interview sites, I mean, do you have to pay to get your interview on this site yes unfortunately you people do charge us <laughs> well I think all it's a relatively uh affordable fee which is nice it's a one-time fee so the banker buck is definitely there 
Yeah, I don't think all of them charge, though. I mean, I know some interviews that I receive organically, I don't charge people to put them up as long as they, you know, provide the image, do a good interview, answer all the questions, make it meaty. Yeah, some are free. You're right. But most do charge. And any idea? I mean, how many good quality interview sites are there out there? I mean, are there five, 10, 20, 100? 10. About 10 good ones? Yeah. Okay. And so obviously, if you hire us, you know, we're going to write up the the bio and the interview for you, I assume, or can that client provide that? How do you do that? My Typically, what I like to do is send them one interview question, set of questions first, and that gives us a baseline of what they want. And they usually don't fill it out too in depth, so we'll expand on it for them because you ideally want to hit between 1,000 and 2,000 words, and they're usually never any close to that. But at least gives us a baseline of what they want. And then from there, we'll do everything from start to finish and send it to the client for approval to make sure we're on the right track. Everything we do, we always send to the client first. But uh, yeah, ideally, we want them to take a crack at it first. Or if they are not good typers, they're busy, what we do is I'll hop on a phone call with them and ask them, you know, run down the questions, you know, what's the uh, best $10 you ever spent? What's some advice you have? What's a favorite quote of yours? Um, we, I try to find questions that are pretty universal across the interview questions because uh, some of them do have a lot of, lot of overlap. And then, uh, yeah, we write, it takes uh, another business day or two to write it up. They give us approval. We pay the fee and it goes live in a few business days. And then it ranks pretty well, pretty quickly, but you'll see it climb in the ranks throughout the weeks. And then I, I heard you mention like you aim for like a thousand to 2000 words. Is that, that's because you find longer content ranks better? Longer is better, but within reason. Right. And then I assume you're also, you're optimizing, making sure that their name is in the, you know, to the best of your ability in the title and the URL on the content exactly. itself. And sometimes let's say the client's name is Mike Smith, very common name, and the client's trying to target Mike Smith, San Francisco, then we'll make sure to mention San Francisco a bunch of times to hit those keywords. Gotcha. Well, if you're watching this video and you're in need of um, some positive reputation management or you've got a negative link that you want to push down, feel free to contact us. We're very affordable and do great work. Thanks, Matt. Thank you.